Let's add some smart drums today to the song that you recorded last time in the GarageBand sampler. So let's open up GarageBand together. If you don't see this menu, if you still see a project or something, let's click on the foldy corner up at the top. That will send you back to the main menu, whatever project you're in. Now I recorded my name down here is my song three, but you know, yours might be a different name. So if you need to pause the video and take a second and figure out where you started last time, go ahead and do that. But this is a mini recap of last week. And if you missed uh, last week's lesson, you need to go back and watch that video because we are not going to be going over recording in the sampler today. So we hit this guy, we recorded our name. We hit this guy, we made the song. And we can check by going up here in layout mode that there's something there, which there is for me. That's what I recorded in the sampler. So today we're going to add another track. Today we are going to add some smart drums. So from layout mode, let's hit the plus sign. If you do not see drums, maybe you see keyboard or drummer or world or guitar, just swipe until your screen looks like this. And then we are going to smart drums today. So this is what your screen will look like. Now in smart drums, you have lots of choices. So over here are the things that I can put in my grid and they can be loud or quiet. So if I want my kick drum to be loud, I'll put it up by loud. If I want my kick drum to be quiet, I'll put it at quiet. So you can kind of work on balance of how the sounds are there. Complex is going to give me more complicated rhythms. It's going to have 16th notes or dotted rhythms or all kinds of things in it. If I go to simple, I'm probably just going to get like quarter notes, eighth note pairs, and rests. It won't be that complicated. So I have all of these choices that I can put. And if I were you, I would just put things in there and start playing. Experiment until you get the sound that you want. So I'm using this power button over here as my start and my stop. Also, you have a choice of changing your drum machine. So I'm on hip hop drum machine, but that's not the only one I've got. So maybe I wanna do vintage kit. So experiment here, experiment here, experiment here, and create the drum sound that you want to go with your name. When you've got it, I like this one. You need to record it, similar to what we did in the sampler last time. If you do not record it, it won't be there. So you must hit the little red. So I'm gonna hit little red and record my drums. So now I've got both. I can check in layout mode. I see my music in the sampler. I see my music in the drums. They are both there, which means my song is finished. So I'm going to go back to the main menu. And if I were you, I would tap this and hold it. And I would rename it. And then we would rename it, my name is a song. Or whatever you need to name it so you can find it again. Because you can see it starts getting confusing when you have my song, my song two, my song four, my song five. Like, which song am I working on? I don't even know. So again, tap it and hold it to get this menu to rename it. That's a really good idea to keep your things organized. So our next step when our music is finished is to create the artwork that goes with our song. Stay tuned for next time.